Hi. Now I'm going to derive the um, relativistic equations for uh, momentum uh, using this example right here. Um, just ignore these two panels right here. Just look at this one. We have two objects uh, with mass m1 and m2 such that at rest m1 is equal to m2. So when these are both not moving, they're in the same reference frame, their masses are equal. And they are going to uh, collide in a collision and stick together. So two objects somehow are going to collide, stick together, and keep moving in one direction. Okay? And they are being watched by two frames of reference, A and A prime. Okay? Um, from A, A's perspective, these two objects are moving at velocities u1 and u2. As you can see right here, this is from A's perspective u1 and u2, um, and a prime is moving at velocity v. Okay, um, and what that means is that what well, this velocity v is actually is that when these two uh, masses collide um, from a prime from the perspective of a's frame of reference, uh, they will stick together and continue moving at velocity v. So a prime um, from the perspective of a is moving at the same velocity that the two objects will be moving when they collide and stick together. Okay? And then um, from A prime's reference, um, and, the, and this kind of makes sense, this is from A prime's reference, uh, M1 and M2 are moving at velocities of U, uh, so positive and, ne positive and negative U, and they're going to collide, um, and A is moving at uh, a, ba a velocity of V backwards. So if um, we were looking at the perspective of A prime, this would move, be moving at velocity v, this would be moving at velocity u, and this would be moving at velocity u, as we can see up here. Okay, um, And that makes sense because in their own rest uh, frames, m1 and m2 are the same, and when they both collide at u, they will be stationary in terms of a prime, which means that from the perspective of a, they will be moving at a velocity, the same velocity that a prime is moving. So just consider this scenario. Okay, So let me get rid of these. Um, and these two panels on the right over here, this is A's perspective and this is A prime's perspective with the velocities that they see them at. Okay? Where do we use? Okay. So, now let's look at the perspective from A. Okay? A prime is moving at velocity v, m2 is velocity u2, m1 is velocity u1. So we would say that m times u1, this is, uh, or m1 u1, this is momentum, mass times velocity, plus m2 u2 equals the addition of the two masses, m1 plus m2, times the velocity, v, that they'll be traveling at. Uh, and this is conservation of momentum, okay? And, um, and yeah, so that, that, that's, uh, that's simple, mass times velocity, mass times velocity, mass times velocity. The beginning mass times velocity added together. <coughs> will equal the end mass times velocity, okay? And now we're going to change perspectives. Now we're going to be in the perspective of A prime, okay? So A prime's perspective now, this is moving back at velocity V, and this is moving at velocity U, and this is moving at velocity U, okay? So this perspective, all right? So what we know from the addition of velocities is um, we can write equations for u1 and u2 from the perspective of a prime, okay? u1 is going to equal, um, uh, well basically let, let's look at it this way. So u1 is the velocity of m1, okay? From a's perspective, but now we're in a prime's frame, okay? So normally what we would say is we would say that um, since a prime sees a moving at a backwards velocity of v, and m1 moving at a forwards velocity of u, you would normally say that the velocity of m1 um, in the a frame would be, which is u1, would be u plus v. Okay, but in special relativity, we know that that's no, not normally the case because a is moving this way, uh, m1 is moving this way, so they're additive and it would be u plus v. But because of the addition of velocities, we know that it's actually u plus v over one plus u v over c squared. We derived this in the earlier video. Okay? And likewise u2, which is the velocity of 
M2 would normally be, since they're going in the same direction, since M2 is going this direction, V is going this direction, normally V minus uh, U, but we know that uh, in special relativity that it's actually V minus U over 1 minus V U over C squared. Okay? Addition of and subtraction of velocity formulas. So let's plug those in. So we now say M1 times U plus V over 1 plus U V over C squared plus M2 times v minus u over 1 minus u v over c squared equals m1 v plus m2 v. Okay? Keep this in your mind. I'm going to erase this now so I can do some more math. Okay? And now let's, we're going to subtract m1 v from both sides and subtract m2 times this quantity from both sides. So we're getting the M1s on one side and the M2 on the other side. So this side becomes M1 times, when we subtract it, U plus V over 1 plus UV over C squared minus V equals M2. Now we're taking V and subtracting this quantity, V minus, v minus U over 1 minus UV over C squared. We get this. Now, um, we simplify this, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply V on this side to, to get uh, rational, to, no, sorry, to uh, get the same denominators, we're going to multiply V by 1 plus UV over C squared over 1 plus UV over C squared. And over here, we're going to multiply V by 1 minus UV over C squared over 1 minus u v over c squared, okay? And we get m1 times u plus v over 1 plus u v over c squared minus, when I distribute the v, v plus u v squared over c squared over 1 plus u v over c squared equals m2. And now this, when I distribute the v, becomes v minus u v squared over c squared over 1 minus u v over c squared minus u, sorry, minus v minus u over 1 minus u v over c squared. Okay? And th now I just put these together. M1, it's u plus v. When I distribute them negative, it becomes minus v minus u v squared over c squared over... 1 plus u v over c squared equals m2 times, sorry, to getting in this little space, v minus u v squared over c squared minus, when I distribute this negative, comes minus v plus u over 1 minus u v over c squared. Okay? And now this becomes M1, the V's cancel, get U minus UV squared over C squared over 1 plus UV over C squared equals M2, in this case the V's cancel, and we get U minus UV squared over C squared over 1 minus UV over C squared. Alright? This is all just math to figure out. Um, relativistic momentum, okay? And now we're going to divide both sides by M2. So this cancels, okay? And we're going to divide both sides by this quantity. So we get M1 over M2 equals U minus UV squared over C squared over 1 minus UV over C squared. Multiply by the reciprocal of this because I'm dividing by it. 1 plus u v over c squared over u minus u v squared over c squared. These two over here are the same, so they cancel, and I get 1 plus u v over c squared over 1 minus u v over c squared. Alright, so I'm left with this, this, okay? m1 over m2 
equals 1 plus uv over c squared over 1 minus uv over c squared. Okay? And now, if we look at it this way, what we're going to do is we are going to, in the A reference frame, okay? So now we're going to be in the A reference frame. All right? We're going to say that, this is U1, we're going to say that U2 is actually zero. So this M2 is not moving, all right? So in this A reference frame, this is what they would see. M2 being stationary and colliding, okay? Now, if U2 equals zero, all right, that means that from A prime's perspective, this U that M2 is moving at, this U is going to equal the velocity that A is moving backwards at, all right? We can see that because for, if we look at it this way, if we underline this, and we say this is going backwards at V, okay? And this is going back at U, and this is going back at U, these two must be the same if in the A frame M2 is not moving, all right? So, um, we have this right now, okay? And then we can also say that in the A reference frame, is if M2 is not moving and M1 is moving, we can replace M2 with M0, say rest mass, and M1 with MU, say moving mass. This is just rest mass versus moving mass because there's going to be a difference in relativity. So we get MU over M0 equals 1 plus UV over C squared over 1 minus UV over C squared, knowing that U equals V. Um, now, in my next video, this is going to be the second part in deriving relativistic momentum. Um, and so just keep watching or go on to the next video and watch uh, where I continue this. Thank you.